Oh my goodness. The city of Jeonju, two hours train ride away from Seoul, is not only known for its historical architecture, but also its growing food scene. In this video, we'll be showing you Jeonju's Nambu Night Market. But first, let's grab some street food. Walking through Jeonju Hanok village, we've noticed a lot of street food vendors and I couldn't resist walking past this place here which has grilled chicken with melted cheese on top. We've just ordered one, it costs us 4,000 won, which is about 4 Australian dollars or so. Oh man, this looks so good. He's put the melted cheese on and also basted it with some spicy sauce. It smells like gochujang. Oh, let's go for this. Oh. Mm. 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 Oh, that is so good. That chicken is still really juicy. I think it's thigh meat. Oh, and that cheese and that sauce all mixed together. That is a flavor explosion. And that sauce is a little bit sweet, but overall, pretty spicy. It's starting to tingle on my tongue. Mmm. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. That service, he's just cut the skewer for me, so it's easier to get the rest of the chicken off the skewer. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, oh. And that spicy sauce. Koreans really love their spice and their cheese. They put it on everything. But hey, we're not complaining. This is really good. Next to the place with the skewers, there's this lady that's grilling cheese. And it looks like halloumi cheese to me, but there's some condensed milk that she's poured into this cup. So I'm guessing it's a sweet kind of cheese. Apparently it's called imsil cheese. Let's taste it. It looks good. Whoa. Mmm. Yum. Oh, that's so good. It does definitely have that consistency of halloumi cheese, except it's not salty like halloumi. This one here, it's a little bit sweet, but together with that condensed milk, it makes it a bit sweeter. That crispy exterior from that grilling of the cheese, that's delicious. So bouncy and squeaky. This cannot be healthy for me, but right now, I don't really care. Mmm, so good. We are on the way to Nambu Market. Every Friday and Saturday night, there's a night market where there's heaps of street food. Nambi Night Market. Oh, right now we're in front of a stand that looks like they're deep frying these big croquet looking parcels and I think there's pork stuffed with melted cheese. You'd think we've had enough melted cheese over the last few days here in Korea. Nope, not at all. Do you guys see this? What? This looks insane. Look at that melted cheese. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure how I'm gonna eat this. It's really hot. You can just see how crunchy the outside looks. I think it's panko. And that cheese is just oozing. The meat looks nice and delicious. And they've also given me some, I think it's garlic and soy sauce. Let's dip this straight in and have a bite. All right, you ready for this? Mm. That is so good. That meat is just so nice and juicy and it's really crunchy on the outside that cheese is really oozy with that added garlic and soy sauce this is amazing what are calories anymore 
I need to get in on this cheese action. Mm. Oh my god. That coating, that's really good. Although it looks like a lot, that cheese isn't too overpowering. It works really well with that succulent pork. This is a really, really good street food snack. Definitely recommend it. The owners of the street food store that had the cheesy croquet were so nice to give us some extra food on top of what we just ordered. It looks like a piece of tonkatsu pork with some, I think it's some kind of ranch sauce topped with a lot of garlic chips and the other half of the pork is I think covered in that garlic soy sauce. Mmm, that ranch really works well with that crunchy crispy pork and the garlic chips on top, especially if you like garlic, that is so so good. The more you eat it, the better it tastes. If you guys want to try that pork croquet with the cheese, it's at this store and these guys run it. Guys, every second store we see here, there's a blowtorch involved and all the food looks so good. Oh man, I don't know what to eat. I have no idea what this is called or even if it has a name, but we had to get this just because it was so different and we've never seen this type of street food before. This starts off as a rice pepper roll, which is filled with flavoured rice. Then they put the roll on a hot press, dip some bacon and egg and put that on top as well. They've compressed it into this. Mmm! The rice, it's like the consistency of sticky rice. And that sauce, it definitely tastes like gochujang. But that crispy outside gives it a really good combination of textures. It's like a bibimbap in a roll. Mm. Now we're in front of a stand that sells hot dog, which is a Korean sweet pancake. We've had this before at Guangzhou Market, but this one looks different. We've seen them make it and they've stuffed it with a lot of cinnamon sugar, but also they've glazed it and put a whole heap of nuts on top. There are many different types of variations of hot dog, but I think this is the more traditional style. <laughs> Here is the hot dog. Doesn't that look so good? I'm sure it's still hot because it's freshly fried. I've got to take a small bite first. <laughs> That butter, it kind of tastes like a donut. It is a little bit sweet, but with those nuts on top, that sweet, savory, crunchy texture, it's so good. This is the Tokgaobi, which is the beef short rib patties with a bit of pork. And what's unique about this place is they dip it in breadcrumbs. Looks delicious. Mm. That flavor is so delicious. I think they basted it with some kind of sauce before grilling it. And that gives it so much flavor. And that added toasted breadcrumbs gives it a nice crunch as well. So good. Alright guys, if you want that Tokalbi, yeah. these are the guys to go to. So good. Just good. Tokalbi good. Come to, come to here. Let's go to Wato. Yeah, Wato. Yeah. Our last street food snack at Namu Market. We've got here a corn. This has been glazed with garlic butter and she's blow torched it. 
That's why you can see that char on the outside. And then finally, she's dusted it with honey butter seasoning. Oh my goodness. Does that sound unhealthy or what? Oh my god. This corn was so soft that I think I've eaten the core. Honey butter is really popular in Korea. That sweet and savory taste. Mm. It works really well on top of corn. I really need to find out where I can get some of that honey butter seasoning. That is delicious on corn. One thing I've noticed about the corn in Korea is that it's not super juicy like the ones we have back home in Australia. This one here, it's a little bit more chewy. It's less juicy, but it's still got a very corny flavor to it. What? Back in our little room in the Hanok. Hope you guys enjoyed exploring Jeonju with us today. We definitely tried some unique street food that we've only seen in Jeonju so far. I'm still thinking about that croquet with the oozing cheese coming out of it. That was delicious. Anyway, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. From the street food that was featured in this video, let us know what you'd like to try by leaving a comment below. And as always guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.